part of the third annual India Rural Colloquy. We are delighted to have everyone here and we're delighted to have Full House online as well. Is India on the verge or the precipice of a rural renaissance? Well, that is what we're here to discuss today. And we have Tadgas panel with us uh, to kick off the first session. may have a 5 trillion economy, but unless we fix our environmental capital, natural capital and our social capital, we may not be a society worth living in. The pyramid of aspiration has become flat. Today, a 15-year-old uh, son of a very rich person uh, and a poor person's son in a very remote village have the same dream. उस बिजनेस में हजारों करोड़ का रेवेन्यू और प्रॉफिट कमा सकते हैं और ये कह सकते हैं कि ये मिथ है कि आप सस्टेनेबल ग्रोइंग कमर्शियली वाइबल बिजनेस रूरल एरिया में नहीं बना सकते कनेक्टिंग द डॉट्स वी आर मूविंग इन द राइट डायरेक्शन एंड वी विल नीड टू इन्वेस्ट मोर एंड मोर इन इन बिल्डिंग दीज कलेक्टिव सेकेंड पॉइंट इज दैट वी नीड टू वर्क टूगेदर मैं तो कहता हूँ गवर्नमेंट अकेले नहीं कर सकती वी नीड एज मेनी पार्टनर मैं भी लंच पे भी कह रहा था कि वी नीड एज मेनी पार्टनर एज पॉसिबल ओनली देन वी कैन मेक इट डिफरेंट एंड नाउ वी आर ऑफिशियली releasing and launching the state of health in rural india report a lot of hard work so first of all i just want to say how timely this survey is it's quite incredible that we have such little this kind of population level data so this this data these results are incredibly important When I'm walking around and in a room where I hear India is so complex because of its diversity, I said no. <laughs> it's beautiful because of its diversity. What it's complex is the mind of those thinking that the the structure should be we should fit the context in the structure. Now we all know that the more women into the work uh, workforce or more women into the workplaces as well as in public spaces that really creates an environment for women's safety and women's agency women's welfare surely as i said keeping complexity of technology behind and delivering it uh, in the hands the way they are comfortable using is number one number two is demonstrating benefit three making sure you get people in their own community using it up front and showing that it's easy we need to we shouldn't be sitting with technology that's 5 years old or 10 years old and then struggling to try and make it move faster in this rapidly changing space village square dot in Every day we're putting out new stories from rural India. So this fellowship started 9 months uh, back and how time flies. Uh I we tried to create a kind of a virtual newsroom so that all these young boys and girls If you could unveil this book. There we go. Fabulous. It's a part of the Village Square Fellowship Open today. and there are some qr codes you can see around which says village square commencing on 1st november i request whoever is interested just scan that qr code and apply
talk food, farmers, markets, millets, and more. Around 60-65% of India at some point or the other, whether it's once or whether it's regularly have consumed millets. Out of those 60-65%, uh, about 15% consume it regularly as part of their uh, regular household diet. Millets have been part of our food culture since ages. And then I know, like, because of green revolution, we all stopped eating it. Now it's coming back and we can see it in metro cities. It has become more of a fashion. Uh, being from Uttarakhand myself, my family has been having millets, barnyard millets specifically, Anubhavji was just mentioned, since ages. And I did not know about it until a few years back. So ever since then, I started creating content, uh, you know, got into food blogging and everything. I started exploring millets. Now poor are in a minority, whatever it be, I'm not getting into the numbers. But even if you assume that 25% are poor, they are still in a minority. What do we do about it? But we have to, we have to uh, note that our concept of poverty is something which is 50, 60 years old. So, we have to rework. It's a social construct. It's not an economic construct. So what will happen is that eventually the hope is that once you have a recognition of that property, which is which was there, which was being handed down over generations, but people did not have any sort of documentary evidence. So what it will lead to is that it will transform that asset into capital. थोड़ा सा बताइए कि आपको कैसे आपने शुरू किया पहले तो हम ये समूह में जुड़े थे लेकिन ये परियोजना आई सचेत सचेत दीदियां हम जुड़ी और धीरे धीरे ट्रेनिंग में जाने लगे ग्राम सभा में अपने मुद्दे रखे तो हमने सचेत दीदियों ने सोचा क्यों ना हम भी राजनीति में उतर जाएं Once we uh, understand uh, these issues these kind of structuring of programs, uh, it becomes uh, quite clear that uh, the programs of a platform nature provide much more scope for uh, collaboration. So there are lots of youths within each district which need to be trained, skilled, and which need to be absorbed in the labor force, as you said. And the, the skilling facility that we make available to these youth are not commensurate with that requirement. We need to scale that up. For the launch of State of School Education in Rural India report, he is here with us, welcoming Sri Dharmendra Padan, sir. ये रिपोर्ट मेरे को दो चीजों को निर्णय करने में मदद करेगा इसी माइंडसेट में मैं यहाँ आया हूँ और आज की प्रेजेंट डे सोसाइटी विशेष करके यंग जेनरेशन कोई भी विषय उसके सामने रखो दे नीड प्रूफ दे नीड साइंटिफिक एंड्रोसमेंट दे नीड डाटा दे नीड 